Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This lesson is going to look at how to do some more advanced customizing and even creating of your own WordPress themes. Um, this is going to be, um, I'm going to show a little bit of the stuff that you can do without much coding knowledge, but if you do know PHP, that's going to help you do a lot more advanced stuff. You can uh, learn PHP here on Educator, by the way. So let's start with uh, your dashboard at your WordPress blog. Um, now the first thing and the most simple thing that you might want to do when uh, just editing your site is um, so you've already got a theme installed usually um, and you might just want to make some minor changes to how your uh, your blog works, how it looks, some things like uh, the background color, fonts, and things like that. This is actually built into WordPress, gives you the ability to make changes in the code that will affect the look and feel. Um, and that's all under here in appearance. Um, so you can click in themes and this is where you can change themes, install themes, and things like that. But down here under appearance there's a little link called editor. Now actually before I go into editor, most uh, themes will have their own ways to change things like the background, menus, widgets, and the header, and that's theme specific. But um, even if your theme doesn't allow it, you can edit things manually using this editor. So here we are in the editor area and you have a window that shows code and then on the right we've got a bunch of files depending on what your theme is all the way down here and WordPress gives you the ability to edit these files in the code and make uh, really actually as, as advanced of a change as you want to make just all through here without needing to mess around too much with uh, back-end uh, uploading and downloading of uh, FTP files and things like that. However, um, you will notice this little uh, line right here says you need to make this file writable before you can save your changes. Um, that's because the default install installation of WordPress leaves all of these um, with, uh, with permissions that are a little bit lower than, than WordPress needs to edit them from the internet like this. So say you wanted to update this footer. Um, 